Okay, when the music starts, you're going to have two minutes to see how many signatures you can get from people in this room. How do you get a signature? Let's review. How do you get a signature? If they cannot guess your field, you have fooled them. And they have to sign your paper. You are after signatures. Are you ready? Please stand up. Let's go for it. Go for it. Go. Three true and one not true. 
and come up and try to trick one another. They're the ones growing the dendrites then. They're not just filling out a multiple choice worksheet. So see, teachers start realizing that. So see what we've done? We've killed two birds with one stone. You, you've done the three facts and a fifth is team building, but you've pulled it back in that classroom. Okay, so help teachers understand the stages of team development. It's normal. We're going to have conflict, but we're going to do the work because we're going to get through this. Assist those teachers in those team building. Always doing team building. We just go the whole day on team building, but we're moving on. I learned the hard way that group norms are really important. Really important. Um, the first year I was ever a principal, I don't know how I got through this stupid year except the assistant superintendent saved my life, but I walked into a situation that was horrible. Um, in fact, when I got there, the teachers, one of the teachers came up to me and said, we've been through eight of them and you're next. You know, and so that's kind of, you know, how I walked into the situation. And I didn't have a lot of tools in my toolkit to assist teachers in working together and having meetings. And so I learned that group norms can really make a difference. You know, norms are working agreements. They are not rules. Rules are handed down. Norms are set by the group. And that's a critical piece, set by the group. Now, sometimes people say, you know, we want to make norms or working agreements of how we're going to treat each other, individual to individual, or individual to the group, or group to individual. Or you don't even have to categorize them. Just help them create those norms. So how do you do that? How do you do that? You know, one of the things you can do is, let's say that you wanted to come up with some staff norms, or for your PLCs, or whatever it is. Give all the teachers maybe like five sticky notes. Every teacher gets five sticky notes. Give every teacher the same writing utensil so that you can't tell that she wrote this because she always uses that blue pen, so I know she's the one that wrote this one. In other words, everybody's got the same utensil. Have them write down. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can say, write down the things that drive you crazy in a meeting. Use one idea per post-it note. Things that drive you crazy. So, what would you write down on one of your post-it notes of something that just drives you crazy in a meeting? A person repeating themselves. A person repeating themselves, like I just did to you. Okay, okay. A person repeating themselves. Yeah, so you'd write that down. What's something you'd write down? Sidebar conversations, you know, really annoys me. Okay, so then what you do after everybody's done theirs, then you can do the affinity diagram, you know, where you put them up, and for everybody to see, you put them up there, read them out, and if, if she wrote down side conversations and you wrote side, down side, then you stack those on top of each other because they're exactly the same. Then once you get them scattered out for everybody to see, and you don't know who wrote them because you take them up randomly, and you just start calling them up. Okay, somebody said sidebar, boom. Somebody said coming in late, boom. Somebody said getting off topic. Boom. Okay. Then once you've got them all scattered around, then you can help. They can cluster them together. And then you can write a label for that category and that turn that into a norm. Turn that into a norm. Come prepared. You know, whatever it is. But you see what's happened? A few haven't set the norms. You haven't set them. A few haven't set them. Everybody's had a part. Everybody. Because I don't know about you, but at the school I was talking about, that, that school was really run by one of the teachers. And that was, you know, everybody was scared of. And that's kind of the way it worked. And then I went, see, because I didn't have any tools in my toolkit, so I'm like, I've got to learn, I've got to get better at this. So I went to all these different workshops, oh, I've got my best idea, one of them, on facilitating groups. The guy said, if you've got a real talker that takes over, what you want to do then is have a chart at every faculty meeting, a big chart stand and have a group recorder. And the deal is, the group recorder comes up to the front and records, but they can't talk. So I made her the group recorder. Said she got to be up front of everybody, but she couldn't talk. <laughs> Turned to your neighbor and said, that was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, now. The